Welcome back everybody. This is uh, lesson 13 of developing a dynamic website from start to finish. In the last lesson we did a little bit of sprucing up with CSS. I showed you how to take our, our pretty pitiful ugly design that we had started with uh, and use CSS to just do some some simple changes um, to create kind of a minimalist look to the site which we're looking at right now but it's way more elegant than than it was before it looked terrible before with the blue and big bold boxes around every, uh, borders around everything so this is not the end result necessarily but this is a good start to uh, design and we did it all with CSS we didn't use any images or anything we didn't have to get into Photoshop which I think we've done a pretty good job everything's clean and easy to read simple little uh, rollovers here on the, uh, the menu so up until this point we've been able to do that uh, as well as we've we're pulling we're pulling the data or the content for the pages dynamically based on what we send up here to the URL and we're pulling that information from the database and displaying it here on the page so the next logical step is creating an area which we'll call the admin panel uh, not to be confused with your control panel or your C panel for your hosting or whatever so we'll call it admin panel and that's gonna be where you go and you can change the content that goes on these pages without having to go into PHP my admin or any other tool like that one of the neat things about starting with such a simple design here and simple layout and one of the reasons why I spruced up the CSS just a little bit um, in the last video or at this point was because what we can do is pretty much copy this entire structure and use it for our admin section too so that's what I'd actually like to do now so if we open up Dreamweaver Let's go over here to our sites here and let's right click on the root of the site, the very top folder, and click new folder. We'll call it admin. And of course there's nothing in there. Now before we do anything, I noticed uh, the other day that I actually have a folder in here that you guys don't have and that is photos. Um, let's if you could just ignore that um, I put that in there for future use with the uh, photo gallery um, in fact I'm going to go ahead and just delete this I don't want it to confuse anybody so hopefully your folder structure should uh, mimic mine here so now normally what I would have you do is highlight all of these and make a copy and put it in the admin folder yet Dreamweaver I don't know if it's every version but at least the version I'm using uh, sometimes has a glitch where it screws that up so we're gonna go a folder at a time and it's a little bit slower but um, that's okay so click on config hold down the control key and drag it into admin and what that will do is automatically make a copy of the config folder and everything that's inside of it as you see and we want to do the same for content just make sure that you realize you know you remember to hold down control for each one of these otherwise you're going to actually move the folder and we want to be making copies of these not not moving them that'll screw us up And lastly, we want the index. 
So now we have a direct replica of the uh, the site itself. And flipping back, like I said, I, I I had to spruce up the CSS at this point for a reason, and I think that's because and that's because to me this is a good place to or a good look or a good place to start at least for the look of the admin panel we may want to make the 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 site itself look cooler or whatever or have a better theme to it or skin or whatever we want to call it but for the admin panel we can stick with this kind of basic structure at least for for a while so I wanted to spruce this up and then and then go ahead and start making the admin panel so let's go back here to Dreamweaver and we need to upload this so if you're if you're not working if you're working on XAMPP then you probably don't have to upload you're probably working in your your directory but if you aren't if you're working with a hosting you need to right click and choose put and let all that upload and we'll see if everything is good if everything is good then we should be able to um, of course you would be going to wherever your site is but I'm gonna make a new tab here and all we need to do is add a slash admin to our URL and there we have another copy so they should look identical. So that means that's working. To help us not be confused when previewing, let's go ahead and open up the index of the admin panel. And just for now, let's go ahead and change the uh, title here to admin panel. And since we now have a name for the project, which I don't know how many of you are following along with what the uh, overall point of this series is, and I'm not going to get into that now. Uh, if you if you want to look into that, you can later. Um, but the CMS that we're building is going to be called Atom, as in like the particle Atom, not the person Adam. So. Let's go ahead and just put that in there. And kind of make it look like that. Go save. And upload. Go ahead and refresh. And now we can see Adam, admin, um, contact us. Um, so we're we're not dynamic sites LLC anymore. So let's go ahead and change some things with the uh, the uh, front end of the site. So we open the uh, front end, uh, and let's actually this we'll call this the public side from now on to not be confused with anything. So when I refer to the public side, I'm talking about anything that the public sees, which is this this version. If I say admin panel, it's this. So let's keep that in mind. So for the public side, let's open up index.php and change this to Atom. And the way I've been doing this, uh, or at least branding this for now until we have a logo, is the Atom.cms. And that's just whatever, just for looks. So and save that and upload if I haven't showed you this already there is a trick and and I don't want to derail from the topics here too much um, but when using Dreamweaver if you're using this version or above um, you should be able to follow along you might be able to find it if you're using an older version but if we double click on the site over here and we go over to servers double click on our server if we click on the advanced button here automatically upload files to server on save I usually have that checked now you need to be careful with that if you're if 
you need to know whether that's going to be okay for you. Um, but that does speed things up. It takes one step out of the process. You don't always have to remember to upload. However, if you are working on something and you don't necessarily want, um, say maybe you're working on it on your local computer and you don't want any of the changes live, this is not a good thing to have checked. So I just want to make that clear um, because I'm not actually, even though when I say save and upload, I'm not actually um, doing the upload command anymore. I'm actually just saving. So let's go ahead also flip back to the admin CSS or sorry the admin index page and for now comment out the uh, page title and if I haven't discussed what commenting out is yet I don't I can't remember if I have. It's basically taking something a line or a statement in PHP or whatever actually you can comment out many things and using the comments the comment function ality uh, I don't know what other way to say it but uh, using the comments characters to kinda of disable something right now I don't really want the uh, page name showing up there I just want it to say Adam admin panel so let's save that and upload it um, and if we refresh the admin panel, there we go. And a big reason I did that was because I wanted you to be, I wanted it to be very obvious in our tabs that this is the admin panel, uh, so we aren't mistaken. And we need to change, or uh, we need to take a look here, make sure we change this right. We sure did. Now we need to change the header. So let's go to. Um, okay, let's go ahead and close our, or collapse our admin folder for now. And let's go to. Template, and open up header. And just simply change this to atom. Dot dot CSS. Save and upload. There we go. Now I'd like to do a couple of things to kind of clean up um, both the public and the admin side before we move completely into the admin panel. Um, I don't necessarily do this template folder with the template files anymore. I don't, I don't use that method anymore. And I don't want to use that for this project uh, unless we find that there's a reason to. So what we're going to do is in our functions folder we're going to add another file. So let's go ahead and say, or actually, let's just go ahead and open up sandbox.php. And this is just a shortcut. Let's do save as, which is control shift S. And we'll save this as template. And let's go ahead and change this up here the comment to template and let's go ahead and remove these functions for now save this and before we forget about it we need to open up our setup file in, in our config folder and let's go ahead and just copy line 9 and then paste it again below control V and change this to templates. And save that. So we're going to load both the sandbox and the template uh, files here. Which what we're going to basically do is we're going to get rid of these footer, header, nav, main files and convert them into functions. Um, the main reason I like doing this is that to me it's cleaner. Um, 
but uh, there's other reasons we'll we'll uh, figure out down the road. But so we needed to do a little bit of work here and need to go back into the template full, uh, file. We're going to create a function. And uh, sadly, header is already a predefined function, so we're just going to call this head. And go ahead and give yourself a couple lines here. And just to save time, let's go ahead and copy from line 9 to 5. And then paste it two more times. And just go ahead and change this to nav underscore main and down here to footer. Um, and the reason I chose this order, I like to choose the order that they appear on the page. That's really just preference. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead and save this. Now I will point out before we go any further that this is something we maybe should have done before we made the copy to the admin folder. And I'd like to say that I did this to teach you a lesson, uh -huh. but uh, that was my oversight. So let's get this done really quick and then we'll go ahead and make sure the admin's up to date too. So what we need to do is open up each one of these. So we need to open up the header, open up the footer, and open up the nav main. In our template.php, let's go ahead. Um, you can rearrange your tabs a little bit here if you want. I like to rearrange them in a way that's going to kind of make sense. So I have my template, header, nav, footer. So in the header here, let's just go ahead and copy this right here. Just, just the HTML. Copy. And in here, say on line 7 or wherever you're at in your file, let's do an echo statement. Go ahead and paste that, close it, and then we're good to go. Save that for good measure. Head over to nav main. Do the same thing. Copy. Go back to template. For now, I don't like doing things this way just because I don't like the way it looks and that's more me being nitpicky. But uh, for now, let's just go ahead and do echo and then a uh, single quote and hit enter. Go back and hit paste. We can kind of tab this out here to make it look nicer. Enter and put our ending uh, single quote and then our semicolon. Uh, maybe give ourselves another line here. Um, excuse this here. That was an accident. That was something I accidentally did there. Um, go ahead and save. And go to the footer. And just like the header, we're going to copy this paragraph. Come over to template. And do an echo. Paste. And we're good to go. Now, at this point, these functions don't have anything... Um, we don't need to pass any parameters to them or any values. So we don't need to put anything here in these parentheses. They can kind of stay as they are. So let's go ahead and save this if you haven't already. We can close our header, nav main, and footer. And we need to go to our index page for the public side. And we're going to change this, these includes here. We're going to get rid of them. Um, and replace it with the function name, which you can see, you'll see right away is a little smaller or a little less code and a little cleaner, which is one of the reasons I like it. So instead of this include template header, 
Just do your head. And that's all we need. So we just need to call our head function. And so that's what we need to do for the rest of them. And there you go. So that's way cleaner. And to me, I'm actually quite fond of if I can make something in line without it being hard to read, um, I will do it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, and this is up to you, but if you want to stick with me on the way I'm doing things, this is a perfect opportunity to put all this in line because it's still a short state, it's a short line of code and still easy to understand, easy to read. Um, I keep the content where it's at just for now, just in case we have to add to it. But these other ones I don't feel we'll have to add anything to just yet or at all. So I'll go ahead and save that and upload it. Um, I did just notice we didn't, I didn't put the parentheses on my nav main. I need to make sure we do that. Save and upload. So we should be good. Let's go ahead and test it. So go to our browser. Make sure we're on the public side here and just start clicking around. Yep, we're good. So everything's still showing up the way it should, which means we did it right. So what we need to do now is update um, the files we've just changed. First, we can delete the template folder altogether. So you can see our folder structure is getting smaller. So go to the admin and go ahead and delete template the template folder as well. Open up the index file. We can go into the public one and let's just copy everything with like the wrap overall and everything within it from the public side. And let's go over to the admin one and paste. Highlight that whole, this whole section and then paste and it will override it see how that worked so save and then the last thing we need to do is open up our setup file and config or sorry wait, we have two more things to do so setup we need to add that extra line here to include the templates or template full uh, file save that and we need to make a copy of this template file. So open up the functions on your public side. Hold down control, click and drag into functions, let go. Now we do still need to upload this, so right click, click put. And let's go ahead and switch over to our browser and test it out. Go to the admin side here. Start clicking around, make sure we did everything right. We sure did. So, now I think we've done everything on the public side that we needed to do to clean things up. So, we've got our admin side, um, I, I, I would say set up, but not totally set up. Um, but it's it's in the position where it's ready to be to be modified so we'll end this video here and we'll pick up where we left off and start turning this into the admin panel